Another military cargo flight lands at Guiwan. Bringing food and supplies, it's also carrying residents who are returning home for the first time since Typhoon Haiyan struck almost two weeks ago. Like IJ Ofilanda. A 19-year-old call center worker who now lives in Cebu, IJ returns to find his family and see if there's anything left of his home in Guiwan. He finds this. Uh, it's very bad. But it's not as bad as he initially expected, he says. Uh, I thought that uh, our house was completely down. But I guess uh, just uh, some of the rooms. And our second floor uh, got destroyed. And the kitchen still soaked with rainwater and a bathroom without a roof. IJ also takes me to inspect the damage upstairs. We used to uh, sleep here, and since it's now all covered by uh, woods, I guess we're all sleeping downstairs. IJ also points to the back of the house and this coconut tree that smashed through the wall. That uh, tree over there, that part of the That's your parents' room? Yes. Downstairs, IJ's mother points to where she hid at the height of Haiyan. From 3 a.m., early a.m. to 6.30. But today, her children are with her together at home since the typhoon for the first time. IJ's brother Stephen traveled home by foot on a journey that took two and a half days. I walked from Tacloban to Giwan and I think it's 150 kilometers from here. His mother didn't know he was coming or that he slept on the streets because he had no money. I was very, very tired and I felt like giving up. but. I thought of my my family. I was I didn't know what are their condition if they're fine. So that kept me going. When I saw him, I just thank God that uh, he's alive. Even if our house is destroyed, because uh, money can be can still be seen, but that life is can never be. Across Guiwan, so many other families like the Ofilandas have similar stories of survival, victims of the world's strongest typhoon in history. Almost every building was damaged or destroyed, including this historic Catholic landmark. This is the Church of the Immaculate Conception, dating back to the 1600s and one of the oldest churches here in the Philippines. Now, you can see the facade has totally been shattered by Super Typhoon Haiyan, and the roof inside has caved in on the entire structure. But despite the fact that hundreds of years of history have been destroyed, everyone we spoke to here in Giwan says that they are going to rebuild. Already, the sounds of reconstruction are starting to rise from the town. Residents taking repairs into their own hands while hoping for more government help. But as aid continues to come in, critics have asked why not just start a new life someplace else. But for IJ, that's not a consideration. I was born as a Guiwanan and I will be, die here as a Guiwanan.